For Tim Schulpertum, this is music to her ears. They make these amazing sounds. And it's a song you may have already heard many times over, as the musicians are literally coming out of the woodwork to play. They're just really awesome critters. Those critters are cicadas, and this year it's not just the ones that show up every year, as Virginia is part of the country seeing the emergence of a group known as Brood 19, which only comes out once every 13 years, emerging from the ground and molting their exoskeleton, like seen here, before turning a distinctive color. Annual cicadas are kind of a pretty green or brown. They have green and brown eyes. They're still pretty, but they're not these like yellow winged black and gold with red eyes of the periodical cicadas. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, Brood 13 is emerging on a 17 year cycle. And it's the first time in almost 200 years these two broods have emerged together, which is pretty cool. Do you know what's making all those noises? Cicadas! Cicadas. Among the spots in Virginia getting the double whammy of annuals in Brood 19 is Hanover County, as their droning call mixes with the squeal of the swing at Pole Green Park and a group of excited mini scientists. Can I show you some cicadas I found? Absolutely. Uh, you got one? a dead cicada that has a whole body. The Hanover County Sheriff's Office actually says they've gotten numerous calls for service related to buzzing sounds in the county. And at least at Pole Green, opinion on the quality is split. Do you guys like the sound? Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah. I think it's kind of creepy. Why do you guys like the sound? Because it's relaxing. Yeah. Purdom says among the theories for the gap between emergences is because so many things eat the bugs, they're trying to overwhelm predators, but James, Max, Joanna, and Sadie aren't among them. Have you guys tried eating them yet? No! no. Even if it's dipped in chocolate? No! And while they might not be sampling them, they were finding a lot. And Purdom says because they emerge so infrequently, scientists want people to report their findings on apps or websites like iNaturalist to give them a better idea if the population, which serves an important role in the ecosystem, is being impacted by habitat loss. Historic records, there's you know millions and millions of these things. Um, but as we change the landscape, those numbers could dr change drastically. And if you'd like to learn more about cicadas, Purdom and the Science Museum of Virginia have actually put together a STEM at home kit for you to do just that. And you can find the link on our website, WTVR.com. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.